Okay, number five. So before we can do anything, we've got to get the bars by themselves. So the first thing we wanna do is get rid of anything on the outside. So right now we have a minus three that's on the outside of the bars. So we need to get rid of it. So to do that, we're gonna add three. And we add three to the other side. You will not add, subtract, multiply, or divide anything with this that's inside the bars. Okay, when it's, in, when it's got bars around it. So those cancel. And so what that leaves me with is the absolute value of 5x minus 8 equals 12. At this point, you're going to make the decision of whether it's a no solution or just keep going. Okay? If this equals a positive number, keep going. If it equals a negative number, you're done. It's no solution. So we're going to keep going. And the, if we think about that V again, this is... Um, the right side, which is 5x minus 8, and that equals 12, and then the left side of the V is the opposite of this. So that would be negative 5x plus 8 equals 12. So remember, your two, um, your two expressions that you're going to start with that both equal 12, one of them is exactly what's inside the bars, the other one is the opposite. And don't just change the middle sign. Make sure you change both terms. Okay, and then all we have to do is solve both of those. So we subtract. So this gives me negative 5x equals 4. And then we divide by negative 5. So x equals negative 0 0.8. Or you could say negative 4 fifths. Either one of those would be correct. Um, so I'm going to kind of circle both of those. It's a terminating decimal, so it's okay to leave like that. Um, just double check with your, with your teacher if it's okay for you to write the decimal like that. Um, I know on our homework, they've all been written as fractions. So as long as it terminates, it should be okay to write like that. All right, on the other side, we're going to add 8. This time it gives me 20. So 5x equals 20. 20, and then we divide by 5, so x equals 4. So these are our two um, solutions for x. This is where our uh, y equals 12 would intersect um, the both sides of the v for this um, absolute value equation. I'm just going to keep going. Let's just keep going. All right, so number 6. So first thing we need to do on number 6 is get the bars by themselves. So if you look at the bars, you'll notice that you've got a three that's being multiplied on the outside and you have a two that's being added. So you have to figure out what are we gonna do first? You're gonna get rid of anything that's added or subtracted first, then deal with what's being multiplied or divided. So we're gonna get rid of this plus two. So we're gonna subtract two and we're gonna do it to both sides. I don't, I'm not subtracting 2 from anything else on this side, just from that positive 2, so that they'll cancel. So 3, and then absolute value of 4x minus 4, and then that equals 51. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then we're going to divide, um, divide both sides by 3, so that those will cancel. Um, and 51 divided by 3 gives us 17. So that's going to be the absolute value of 4x minus 4 is equal to 17. Okay, again, at this point, this is where you decide is it a no solution or not because it equals a positive 17. We're going to keep going. All right, so I'm going to do exactly what's inside of here. I always write it on this side because when I think of my V, um, this is the side that's going up this way. And then the other side of the V is the opposite of this. So this would be negative 4x plus 4 equals 17. Okay, just double check. Make sure you've made everything the opposite that was inside the bars. And then solve it. So we subtract 4. So negative 4x is equal to 13. And then we divide by negative 4. So x is equal to uh, negative 3.25. Or 
you could leave it as negative 13 over 4. All right, on the other side, we're going to add 4. So this gives me 4x equals 21 and then divide by 4. So x equals 5.25 or you can leave it as 21 over 4. So either one of these, because it terminates, um, it would be okay to leave as a decimal.